Hi guys, it's Michelle. So I'm here just to do a wee bit of a chat really and to give a wee talk on wigs. So I wanted to do a little video just talking a bit about my understanding of human hair. So the wig that I'm wearing just now is human hair. This is the Dimples Adele from their bronze collection and I wanted to discuss a few things in regards to human hair wigs. So first of all, um, human hair wigs as opposed to synthetic wigs. We have kind of pros and cons with anything that you buy. I can't really say pros and cons, I've just realised because um, what I find a positive might not be positive for some people, it might be negative for others. So let's just talk some facts. So human hair um, tends to last a lot longer than synthetic hair. So you have a longer time period of human hair than you tend to have with a synthetic wig. Synthetic wig, a long one like this for example, if this was synthetic you would probably be expected to get roughly three months of fairly good care looking after the wig daily wear it maybe six weeks I'd say probably and you'll start to notice some severe friction and you'll probably need to have it cut, resiled, do a lot of steam treatments on it. In theory that's the kind of average expected time with a lot of synthetic wigs. Um, in regards to human hair wigs, again this is a whole other zone of why I wanted to make this video. They do tend to last longer in regard to giving you an idea of how long they last. Well that is very dependent on the human hair. So human hair, um, like if you have a longer wig, you do have to style it, you do have to kind of straighten it. It doesn't just return to the style it was when bought, the same as a synthetic would. Synthetic, you literally wash it, leave it to hang dry and it will return to its style that it, it comes in. Um, and this it was pre-wash, so it's minimal maintenance and styling of a synthetic wig. Human hair, if I want this to be straight, I will dry it straight. So first of all, quick rundown on synthetic wigs, bullet points. It tends to be made of acrylic fibre or else kinecolon. Kinecolon is the fibre that's often used in a kind of wig that you can heat style. So that's different from the acrylic. The acrylic you cannot use heated tools but you can steam style it if you want a straight wig curly. However, that's another video. Um, but synthetic wigs, you can't use heated tools. A longer synthetic wig you will not have the, the same lifespan as you would with human hair. Um, synthetic wigs tend to be cheaper because they don't have to source the hair the same way as with human hair. However, there will be different variations in price depending on the cap construction and the kind of time that's put into making of that wig. So that is just a wee bit about synthetics. So now moving on to human hair. Okay, sorry. So uh, my understanding of human hair and the reason for that is because I think we often tend to go, well, you get a synthetic wig or you have a human hair wig and there are comparisons to make. But then when we get into human hair, within human hair, there are different types of human hair. And um, that's something I kind of wanted to discuss today just to see if it's informative and it helps you. So human hair wigs, I love. Um, they feel more luxurious. This is a human hair wig that I'm wearing just now. I do love synthetic as well. I am not exclusively human hair. Um, the caps on the human hair wigs that I have are all fully hand tied. But when we come to human hair, we then have, you have different types of human hair. Um, and as well as the sourcing of where it comes from, we then have how it's actually processed, which is another area which I'd cover in the video. So very basically, the main types of hair you will generally find in wigs, generally they can be Indian human hair, Chinese human hair or a blend of the two. That's the most common you will generally find in most wigs that you will buy a lot of the time. You can also buy European human hair wigs which may be coloured or processed or they may be virgin, which means never coloured, never permed, never had anything like that done to them. That is very expensive here um, to source and therefore to us, to end users and consumers, that costs a lot more to buy. It is of such a high standard. So 
in general, what you would get with a human hair wig, um, it tends to be Indian or Chinese or a blend of the two processed. Now, you do get Mon Mongolian hair as well, which is kind of like between those and then almost European, but not quite, but it's very similar in texture. It does feel very similar. Um, it's good quality hair. Now, in regard to Chinese hair, first of all, I think there are so many myths surrounding human hair and Chinese hair. Sometimes people will think if it's Chinese hair it's not, it must be really cheap and it's not so good. Now I could not tell you the pricing of sourcing, I'm not involved in the industry, I don't know, I do know a lot of information in regards to wigs because I have a very good friend who has worked in the industry and worked in cap design, hair selection and the likes for 15 to 16 years so he's given me a lot of advice, a lot of information um, but what I'm saying today is just my understanding of, of everything. So Chinese hair. Chinese hair in comparison to European hair, each hair strand is thicker than European generally. So if you are European, you're British, you're American, you're very Western, Caucasian with straight hair, generally Chinese hair is thicker than what we would maybe have. However, um, Chinese hair is actually very, very amazing quality. It tends to be poker straight. So often if you have a pure Chinese wig that is Remy, Remy means the cuticle is intact on the hair. So here's a picture of some hair, um, a wee diagram, and that just shows you hair with the cuticle. So the cuticle all runs in the same direction to prevent tangle, and that is Remy hair. Sometimes, to do with processing, that can be stripped off. Anyway, that was a whole other thing. Chinese hair. Okay, so Chinese hair. Chinese hair tends to be thicker than European hair, thicker than Indian hair. Each strand is a lot thicker. Um, it holds up amazingly to being dyed, especially if you want an extremely blonde wig, a very bright wig or a very vibrant red which has to be lifted. Whatever colour is in your hair, basically the hair generally, if it's Chinese, tends to be a natural black or a, a very kind of off black brown shade, 11B type shade and obviously to get it to like this kind of colour or this kind of colour then it would be bleached and highlight, um, not highlight sorry, it would be bleached to lift the natural colour out of it to strip the colour away. Then the company will add the dyes to create the beautiful shade of wig that you're going for. Chinese hair holds up remarkably well to a lot of colouring. Um, a lot of what is to do with the quality of hair is actually in regard to, well, like if we had, if, if you have hair yourself or like me, if I had hair, I don't, but um, the quality of your hair is very dependent upon your diet and lifestyle factors. So Chinese hair, the diet in China tends to be very healthy, very nutrient rich, very oily, fish based, very rich diet which creates, which means the hair is just the most phenomenal, beautiful quality if it's good quality Chinese hair. Then we move on to Indian hair, I mean even within like Indian hair as well, it's like what area is it from? And, Indian hair was always seen as a very premium, very luxury, very top end hair um, and again that was very much due to the Indian diet, the hair quality was just phenomenal but as Indian diets are becoming more westernised the hair quality um, is changing and hair. Indian hair is finer so it is more similar to um, European Caucasian type hair although naturally Indian hair tends to be slightly wavy. Not as much as a Brazilian wave or not a curl, but very straight, quite fine hair, but does have a natural wave to it. So if you buy a wig that is Indian Remy hair and you wash it, you will tend to find it will return to what that hair is, which is it tends to have a wave in it. That doesn't mean there's a problem with your wig. That is because Indian hair 
naturally tends to have a wave. So if you have a wig that you have bought, for example, well this is my Adele, I also have a Dimples Marina, I'm going to show you that just now, I'll take it off my mannequin. So this is my Dimples Marina, which is a very layered, very beautiful, straight human hair wig. Now this is from the Dimples Bronze collection, this is Remy hair, it's a blend of Chinese and Indian in this shade. So because it does have that Indian hair, when I washed this, um, it was wavy. Because it is layered, the waves look more pronounced because you've got some waves here and then you've got the waves underneath so they all come together and you have this beach wave look. So that is due to the Indian hair that is in this wig. So there we go. Um, when you wash Chinese hair, it tends to return to poker straight. Indian hair will have a bit of a wave in it. This is also a blend. This is from the same hair um, kind of batch, if you like, as the Marina. This is called the Dimples Adele and it's a lot straighter. This hasn't even been straightened with um, flat irons with straighteners. This is me having hair dried it and blow dried it straight and not in sections, literally just blasting it with a hair dryer. Now, it looks a lot straighter than the Marina because it's not layered. So style comes into it. Um, it did have a bit of a, a slight kink to it when it was washed and left to dry. So that is that. So that is our kind of hair. So, like another brand that I have, I have this Trend Co Diamond. I believe this is a mix of Chinese and Indian Remy hair. Now, when I wash this, this is how it returns if I leave it just to dry. This started off red, I have actually dyed it myself. Now, it's human hair as well. It is also Remy hair. I have never had a problem with the Trendco wigs. The Trendco diamonds I actually find are phenomenal. They are one of the cheaper human hair options on the market. However, the quality of this, it's, it feels soft. Now, when I feel this and I feel this, they feel quite similar. I feel that the hair on this is slightly thicker. This is purely my guess. I have not asked Trendco. I feel as though this has probably got more Chinese than Indian hair in it because it does tend to go, well it's got a bit of a kink, but it tends to go very, very straight when washed. So it feels lovely, it feels great, it's washing up well, this has been washed so many times I couldn't even tell you and it's still great condition, it's lovely. So then we move on to, there are price ranges generally with wigs. So you do tend to get what you pay for, is a general rule of thumb, not always the case. Um, for example, the Trendco Diamonds that I just mentioned, it's one of the cheapest human hair wigs on the market, but I honestly love it, I adore it, I, I love the hair quality of the Trendco Diamonds. So I actually avoided it in the past because I thought, well that's the kind of cheapest human hair wig that I found from a kind of bigger company that I know the name of so I'll stay away because it's probably not that good until I decide he's actually I just really want a human hair wig and I can't really afford much else and it was a lot of savings for me and I'm so glad that I got it because I just fell in love and then I got a second and I fell in love I just have the one now and um, I do I still love it I love my dimples the hair I would say similar quality, the diamond, the Trendco diamond is definitely straighter so it's easier maintenance than for example the Dimples Marina because it's got what well, I believe that's got more Indian than what the Trendco does so the Marina I need to do a bit of work if I want it totally straight while I'm drying it, nothing major, that's just how it is. So then these are kind of the under £1,000 mark human hair wigs, the Trendco diamond, the Dimples bronze that I have tried. I would recommend each of these because I feel they are very good quality um, under the £1,000 mark. Brilliant. This Dimples Adele is actually over £1,000 um, but it's very long, very long hair so obviously for companies to source longer hair and make sure it is a good quality um, it's going to cost a bit more so a longer wig will cost more. The caps and these are all beautiful on each of them. So then we move on to what I'm going to show you actually next. This is by Ellen Villa. This is a more expensive wig. This is over the, the thousand pound mark. It's, I think this is about 1400 pounds roughly at RP 1500 in the UK. 
so probably about $1,600-ish, I believe, roughly. Um, now, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of hair. This is part of the Ellen Villa Pure Power Collection. Now, they have another collection. They have a human hair wig called Zora, which I have never worn. I have a couple of friends that have it, and I believe it's very similar quality to the Dimples Bronze Collection. Dimples do their silver collection, which is European hair. It is processed, but... I've never seen it, I would assume that feels a lot better quality. So this is Remy hair as well, this is by Ellen Villa, part of the Pure Power collection, this is called Emotion. Now when I feel this, when I got this wig I was very kindly sent this by Ellen Villa US and I tried it on and thought, oh my goodness, the hair is very very different to the other wigs that I have tried that are human hair. This is so luxurious, this hair. When I wash this, this is how it went without blow drying it, as you can see. So the layers there slightly turn under, but that's just natural, that's how it goes. This is feels quite fine. So to me, it feels like Indian hair because each strand of hair feels so fine, and yet it sits very straight. And this is a, a much more expensive wig but and when you receive human hair, if you buy a human hair wig, most companies will have a silicone coating on the wig. After the first wash, most of that silicone comes away. After a second wash, all of the silicone should be out of that hair. Um, and that's when you may think, this doesn't look quite like it did. So when I do a wig review on human hair, I feel it's very important to show you how the wig came and also show how the wig is after a couple of washes to be fair and show you this is what you will be left with. Um, each of these wigs that I've shown, the Dimples Bronze, the Ellen Villa and the Trend Co Gem Collection have all been lovely. Um, you can watch any of the reviews if you like, they'll be shown up along the top here as we go. Um, they are, they're all very lovely and basically it depends on your budget, what you're going to spend, what kind of hair you'll get. Now also in regard to human hair, there is the processing of the hair. So if the hair, generally the hair will be a kind of dark brown off black type shade. So for anything lighter than that, it will have to be processed as in dyed. So the colour is lifted to the lightest shades that will be there and then colours added on top to give the perfect shade that you will get. So that's how that kind of works. Now also with processing, Remy hair is much better quality than cuticle stripped. So some wigs will be cuticle stripped. Now a cuticle stripped wig, when it's coated in the silicone and you receive it, you will look at it and think, whoa, that's amazing. It's The hair can be so fine and sleek and straight and it just looks phenomenal. However, as soon as the silicone is out of that hair, that hair has no cuticle to kind of protect it, no cuticle on the outside. It's been all stripped away and you've just got the fine inner hair um, shaft running right down the length of the hair. So that then is very prone to drying out quicker. You will not have as long a lifespan. Remy hair is what you kind of want to go for. I believe, personally, in my opinion, you're better to save your money over a period of time, even if it takes you a longer time to afford a human hair wig. If you're going to go for one, save up and make sure you know that what you're getting is quality, that you have watched reviews, whether it's a review I've done, a review someone else has done, look at loads of reviews and make sure that you see how the wigs are once they've been washed or speak to a wig salon, speak to an expert, get some advice. It's very important. Um, often human hair, we just kind of think, oh, there's synthetic or there's human hair, but there are so many aspects of it and um, there are a lot of my friends I know have had human hair wigs which have been predominantly Indian hair, they've washed it, it's gone extremely curly and they've been like this is not the wig I bought and that's really 
if you're if you're not somebody that has the time to straighten the hair and you don't want to straighten it but you do want the poker straight hair then that's maybe not a wig that's most suited to you so by understanding um, what you're getting before you buy I think is really important because it is so much money to spend wigs are not cheap they are expensive and I am totally a believer in um, you should be informed before you buy anything you should be able to make an informed choice an informed purchase and yeah so I was just hoping that this would provide a bit of information for you um, I've only really spoken a bit about Chinese and Indian hair you can get European wigs which European hair wigs which tend to be lovely and beautiful and virgin European hair um, I have never owned one I have a couple of friends who have the freedom brand there's a new brand about to launch in the UK and um, Carly Barrett who is the owner of Allegan Hero Solutions she will be kind of overseeing UK rep I believe for Nordic hair which again they do these moulded caps which just I believe are phenomenal and I know that Carly would only be affiliated with something that she feels is very good however again I don't know what the cost of these are but the cost when you are going for this kind of real premium luxury hair there's not so much of it available and it costs a lot to source and then whether it, even if it's coming unprocessed um, to then make that into a wig that's a lot of work so you will pay top dollar sort of thing so I kind of hope this has been helpful for you guys just a wee educational video I'm sorry that I talk so much but I kind of feel it is really important to kind of raise a bit of awareness about what's out there um, in regards to other human hair wigs if I have any if I can buy any or if I receive any of course I will review them I will review them on here and um, I'm hoping that one day I will be able to I mean the dimples bronze hair is lovely it's absolutely gorgeous they do silver and I'm very intrigued to find out what their silver um, collection is like actually because it's European but processed I've never had a European wig ever had one so I guess that is probably all for me from now and I will speak to you all soon thanks very much for staying tuned thanks for watching remember guys you might have hair loss you're so beautiful tell yourself every day you're beautiful even if you don't believe it look in the mirror and say it because do you know what it's true it is true and one day you'll start to believe that I so friends love you